welcome to GGV DIY. I'm Sarah. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you some new gingerbread DIYs with a pastel color theme. So if you want to see what I made, stay tuned. To get started with our first DIY, we're going to use some of these mini party hats. You can find these in the party section at the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to grab out a color. It doesn't really matter which color you choose. But we're going to take off that elastic band at the chin strap. So we'll just take that off and you can discard that or use it for another project. And then I'm going to take this yarn that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. It kind of reminded me of that gingerbread color. So I'm going to start hot gluing it to the top of the hat. And then I'm just going to wrap it right around this party hat. And I'm just going to keep going all the way until I get to the end. Now, I didn't use any extra glue in between the initial top there and where I glue it at the bottom. But if you need to use some dabs of glue, go ahead and do that just to make sure that everything is secure. I'm going to clip the end off at an angle, glue it down. And then if I have any extra bits of hat poking through, I'm just going to use my scissors and trim that down. And as you can see, we have now a gingerbread tree. So I'm going to do four of these and then I'm going to decorate them each differently. So for this hat here, I'm going to use these pom pom uh, like ribbon that I picked up at the Dollar Tree last Christmas, I believe. So it came in like red, green and white. And as you can see, I'm using the white hair and I'm just twisting that around the tree in kind of a diagonal fashion until I get to the bottom. And I'm just gonna secure here and there with the bits of hot glue. And it just turns out so cute. And then I had this bit of trim in my stash. You can use anything you want. You can use um, pastel colored Rick rack or if you can find little laces like this uh, like i said this is an old set of ribbons that i had in my stash from a long time ago and i thought this would look really cute on my gingerbread trees And then for this one, I had picked out some pastel buttons. And then for my final tree, I am using these little dot stickers that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. I am going to hot glue them on just because I don't think that the sticky of the sticker part of it would stick very well to the yarn. Um, and then I'm just gonna continue until I'm happy with that. Now, so for my bases of my trees, I am taking these little mini wood rounds. My father-in-law was so sweet a couple years ago. He had cut me a whole bunch of little wood rounds and that is what I'm using. So I just drilled up a bit of a hole in the middle there with my hand drill, just big enough to fit that skewer in there. And then I'm going to just put a ton of hot glue down in the bottom of the hat and I'd want to add a good amount of hot glue because I want my skewer to stay in there nicely once that glue sets up. So just put a, probably like half a stick of glue down in there and then you're just going to poke your, as you can see, like all the glue, <laughs> I was trying to show you that. Um, then you're just going to stick your skewer right down in there and let it set up. So here's a quick look at the other trees that are finished. I cut the uh, skewers down to different sizes so that my trees had a little bit of variation in size, but this is such a cute and easy project and you can do so many different um, things to decorate your trees. And I just love how these turned out. So for DIY number two, we're going to use one of these snow globes from the Dollar Tree. They sell these every single year and you can put water and other things in them. However, I'm going to keep mine dry and I have three of these wood snowflakes from the Dollar Tree. 
I painted them with the hazelnut color from Waverly and then I went in with some puff paint to decorate my quote unquote cookies. And then I am using a paint pen here to decorate up a little gingerbread man also from the Dollar Tree. I really hope that they carry these little wood pieces again at the Dollar Tree this year. I've had so much fun creating projects with them. And then I had the little 3D trees that were from the Dollar Tree. I painted those up with the uh, hazelnut color from Waverly and some of the pup paint. And then on two of the trees, I am using some of the small wood spools that I've picked up from Amazon. And I am putting the trees on those wood spools just to give it some variation in height. Then I'm going to glue down my gingerbread man and then arrange the other two trees um, in a way so that everybody is sitting on that base and that the top can go on it. Now I wanted my snowflakes to kind of hang down and look like they're like falling out of the sky sort of. So I attached some fishing line to the back of my snowflake and I am just adding a little bit of hot glue to the very end of the fishing line and then I'm going to put that on the snow globe so that they're hanging off of the snow globe. Then I'm adding some glue here at the base and then I'm putting on some snow and this is just Epsom salt and some of the big chunky glitter that you can get from the Dollar Tree and I just put the glue on there so that it would always have a little bit of snow no matter how you moved this snow globe. So now to finish up the base after I've screwed everything together I'm going to add some of this cute pink gingham ribbon from the Dollar Tree all around the outside of our snow globe just to dress it up a little bit more. Now, when I was at the Dollar Tree the other day looking for a little bit of inspiration, I came across these little candies that are from the fairy garden area, so in the garden area, but they looked like little candy pieces, and I thought they'd look so cute with my pastel gingerbread decor, so I'm just going to hot glue those to the base, and that completes this project. So cute, so simple, and so easy to make. These would be fun to make with the kids. Today I'm participating in an open collaboration with my good friend Jackie from Crafting in a Mimi's World. We decided we needed to do one more gingerbread DIY video for Christmas in July and we wanted to invite all of our fun friends from YouTube. If you've never been over to Jackie's channel, definitely go check her out. She's an amazing crafter. She does so many cute things. I just love her stuff so much. She's very creative and is a gingerbread fan just like me. And not to mention one of the nicest ladies I know. Now we have a playlist link. This is a collaboration, an open collaboration, where we've invited our friends from YouTube to join us to inspire you and create lots of pastel gingerbread DIYs. So go down to my description box below and click the playlist link. Go through all of the videos that you'll see there and you'll find tons of inspiration for pastel gingerbread DIYs. So for DIY number three, I've started off with some of these wood, uh, little wood pieces that the Dollar Tree sold last year. I've given them a coat of the hazelnut color from Waverly. And then I went in with this 3D puffy paint that I pick up from Walmart and I'm just decorating my cookies. I am decorating these to, to look like cookies, gingerbread cookies. So I am adding little swirls and just decorating them however I might decorate an actual cookie. And if you need inspiration, Pinterest or Google is a great place to look to see how people decorate cookies and then you can use those same ideas to decorate your fake gingerbread cookies. So I'm just going to add this on and then I'll let this dry overnight. 
Now I'm going to use some paper out of this paper pad. This is from Michael's a couple of years ago. So if you can't find this paper pad, which you won't be able to, you'll just need to go look in the open stock sections of your favorite craft store and find some paper that you like that will be great for your pastel gingerbread DIYs. Or if you're lucky, you might be able to find this paper pad on like, um, like Etsy or eBay or something. But I'm just gonna glue down this paper with a glue stick, let it dry, and then I'm gonna go back in with a sanding block and get rid of all the extra paper around the whole entire edge of this little tag sign. This tag sign I picked up from Walmart. It is a plaid product and I just really loved the size of this. Now I painted the outside edge of this tag sign in the ballet color from Waverly. And now I'm going in with one of these rub-on transfers from the Dollar Tree. Now <laughs> these rub-on transfers with the brown backgrounds are not the best. They are not the greatest. However, they do transfer and it's kind of like using, you know, like carbon paper. So my idea was that I was going to transfer it on using the same technique that I would usually use for rub on transfer. And then I'm going to go over it with a paint pen. And the initial transfer isn't horrible. It definitely is more of a weathered look if you don't go back over it with a paint pen. So you can leave it if you'd like that more weathered look, but I wanted this to look a little more crisp and clean, so I went over it with the paint pen. Now I'm gonna add my cookies back on with some hot glue, and then I'm gonna add a pretty little trim at the top of some white lace. And look how cute and pretty this is. This would look really lovely on a wall or on a tear tray or on a shelf for your Christmas season. For our fourth and final DIY of the day, I'm going to go in and use one of these faux cutting boards. They're made from cardboard. These came out at Easter time. I think they've done a couple different ones, but I picked up a bunch at Easter. So um, you'll see this is just Easter, <laughs> but I'm going to take that front part off. I'm just going to use my spatula to get underneath it. And then I'm going to use the back side of our cutting board. And I gave that a coat of the Waverly chalk paint in white. Now I'm going to go in and distress this a little bit. So I'm going to go in with a few different colors. I'm going to start off with the Waverly chalk paint in sandstone. I think that's what it's called. I will definitely leave all the colors down below so that you know which colors for sure that I've used, but it's one of the newer colors from Waverly and it is this kind of lovely light brownish orange color. So I'm going to go over the whole entire cutting board with a dry brush in that color and then I'm going to go over the whole entire board with a dry brush in the mineral color from Waverly. And then I'm going to go in with a Cafe Noir color from Hello Hobby. I really love this brown color. It is a really deep, rich brown color. And I'm going to add that in little areas along my whole entire cutting board. Then I'm going to go back in with white and just kind of soften everything up. Soften up any areas that are a little too rich or too deep for me that I want to lighten up. And I'm just using a dry paintbrush for all of this. Then I go in with a pencil and a ruler, create some shiplap lines, and then I just smudge them out with my finger. So I have a free printable to give to you guys today. I created this especially for this project and I hope you enjoy it. If you want your free copy, go down to my description box below, click on the link and you can print it out on your printer. I just cut it down to size and then I'm going to glue it using a glue stick to that original square cardboard part that I pulled off at the beginning. And then I'm gonna hot glue that whole part right back onto our cutting board. And I just use a good amount of hot glue just to make sure that it lays flat and stays tight. Now, in my opinion, every cutting board with a handle needs some jute twine. So I'm gonna add some jute twine on the handle to finish off this 
super easy and super cute project. And here it is in the final state. It is so pastel and so adorable and perfect for your gingerbread kitchens. So that's all I have for you guys today. Let me know in the comments down below which project was your favorite. Make sure you click on that playlist to find out what everybody else has made for this collaboration and hit that like button so that I can be seeing why more people. Have a great day. Bye.